Okay, welcome to a call to arms. And this is a bicep and tricep training video, which uh, will hopefully give you a good workout with some light dumbbells. Now I'm just using five kilo dumbbells this for a good arm pump. And the idea is we're gonna focus on tension on the muscle and squeezing the muscle throughout to make sure that we're getting a good engagement from the muscle. So you can follow along at home, play this back. And if you need to pause at any time, just pause through the workout. So we're going to do four exercises. We're going to do standing dumbbell curl. We're going to do lying close grip bench press uh, or French press, I think it might turn into. And we can also going to do concentration curls and uh, cross face tricep extension. All exercises designed to keep tension on the muscle at all times and to make sure you're engaging the muscle at all times. So we're going to do uh, what I call sequential then supersets. So we're going to go through each exercise uh, in its entirety and then we're going to go into supersets and then we're going to go into a giant set at the end to make sure that the, um, the workout is hitting properly. Uh, now throughout I'm going to show the form and demonstrate the form so you can see how to do it. So if you need to pause the video, do that as well. Okay, so we're going to start off with standing dumbbell curl. So for standing dumbbell curl, when people do this the wrong way. They tend to swing up all the way through. So if I turn to the side, you have to see how to do it properly. So from here, turn the arms up here, elbows slightly forward, and we're going to contract through to 90 degrees. We're not going to do this at the end where we're swinging the bicep up. We're going to keep the squeeze on all the way through, keep the tension all the way through, not fully extending at the bottom making sure we're focusing on the muscle. Going to get about 15 reps each time. I think that's about 10, something like that. A few more. And the idea is we don't grip too hard with the hands either, making sure that we're pulling through the bicep and not engaging the forearm too much. That's about 15. Going to rest about 10 seconds. It's not really that taxing in terms of weight, so we're going to reduce the rest time down a little bit. Just let's shake it off a little bit, and we're going to go again. So from the other side, come up here, arm slightly forward, and squeeze up to 90. Remember to always focus on the bicep. If you lift and pull your arms forward like that, it goes onto your shoulder, which takes it off the bicep. So we're going to go for 15 reps again. And squeeze up each time, making sure we're focusing on the bicep. I've lost count again. I think that's about 11. Squeeze through. Okay, just going to rest for a second. Shake it off. Remember, the weights we're lifting here aren't heavy. If you're training at home, you've probably got to make do with what you've got. So increase the intensity a little bit and push the volume up. If you want to do 20 reps, that's fine. 15 reps is where I, I normally sit. Okay, we're going to go again for third set. Okay, so from the front, the front this time, just squeeze up, making sure pumping blood into the trice, into the biceps. Now, if you wanted to increase the intensity, you could slow it down. You could squeeze at the top. All these things you can do to add intensity. I'm not going to do that on every single rep because the workout is really painfully long. But you get the idea. You can do things. You don't have to have massive weight all the time. We can fatigue through volume. We don't have to fatigue through weight all the time. <coughs> okay, to do three sets of the bicep curls, I'm going to go into three sets of the lying close grip bench press or French press. Now, the reason I say or is because I've got a bit of a tricep issue here. So if I start doing one exercise, I might start clicking, I might transition. So you can do French press or uh, close grip bench press. <coughs> now I'd normally do this on a, a bench, but obviously you might not have a bench at home, so I'm gonna do it from the floor so you can see how to do it from the floor. So a close grip bench press is like this. Keep the elbows in here, and we're gonna extend upwards, lock out the tricep. Make sure when you're coming up here, we're not bringing the chest in if we can help it. Most people do close bench press like this. The wider you go, the more the, you bring the chest in. But you want to just extend the triceps up. Now, granted, with a light weight, this probably isn't going to be too taxing. So if it is too light for you, we can go into like a French press instead. Where we come here, 
extend. If we're doing the same thing, I'm trying to squeeze the tricep at the top. So you can do both options. I might stick with the French press for now until my elbow tendon gives out. I can go to a close grip bench press. You get 15 or so, drop down. Don't need a great amount of rest for this because it's not really that much of a heavy weight. So we're going to focus on intensity and volume rather than taking long rest periods. Don't need any Haribos in between my sets for this one. Okay, so push up again. We're going to do close grip bench press again. Sorry, French press. So down to the shoulders. If the dumbbells slightly touch the shoulders, that's about the right position here. There is, a, there is an option where you can go here and come this way to stretch the triceps a bit more. I'm not going to do that because that will really put my tricep tendon at risk. So I go for this option here. Sort of like a blend between the two exercises. Going to get a 15 again. Remember, it's important not to bring the chest into it or the shoulders. Just think about the triceps working. I think that's about 10. Maybe, who knows? Lost count because I'm so awesome. <coughs> Put that down. And the rest of another, say 10, 15 seconds. Again, the weight's not massive, so we want to keep up the intensity, but we don't want to be getting to a point where we're doing 40, 50 consecutive reps because you'll get fatigued through lactic acid buildup and not from muscular failure. So we're going to go again, push up, go 15 reps again, squeeze up at the top, squeeze the tricep. And focus on the exercise, make sure thinking about the tricep moving, not the chest. <coughs> Another couple of reps. Okay, that's 15. And you can go to 20 if you want, 25, whatever you want to do. So we're going to go to concentration curls now and then go into cross face tricep extension. So, concentration curls you would normally do from a bench. You would normally sit on a bench and do it, but you might not have the option at home. So we're going to do it from a standing position. So it's important to get the position right. So feet 10 to 2, one hand on here. And it's important with concentration curls, we go on the tricep, not the elbow. So the tricep goes on the inside of the leg, not the elbow. So from here, go down, go come down. Breeze, going to do 15 again. Remember, it's not massively huge weights. So we're focusing on squeezing the muscle at the top and making sure we're engaging the muscle properly, not swinging. You get 15 good reps. Don't fully extend at the bottom. Slight bend. That's a, maybe 11. Who knows? Okay. Swap over this side. Hand 10 to 2 on the legs. Tricep on the inside of the leg. Go up to 90. And we'll focus on the bicep contracting and pulling with your bicep. Don't focus on just throwing it up. And think about the muscle contracting and engaging the weight rather than it's a light weight. We can still do a lot with a light weight. Lost count again. I think that's about 11. I don't think you can do too many reps on arms, to be fair. Going to rest about five, ten seconds, go again on the other side. So this is sequential sets. We're going through each exercise individually. Then we're going to go to the supersets afterwards. Okay, so that's about ten seconds or so. Go again on the other arm. And we want to keep the blood in the muscle as much as possible, especially if it's a cold morning. So squeeze at the top. Contract the muscle properly, focus on the muscle, concentrate on the muscle. Keep going. That's about 11 or so. 12. Okay, 
Okay, swap over the other side, 10 to 2 on the legs. Tricep on the inside of the leg here. Squeeze up. I'm going to focus on that contraction of the muscle. If it's a light weight, you're going to need to really engage the muscle. You can slow it down so you can really squeeze up, hold, lower under contention, squeeze up. Lots of things you can do to make it more taxing if you've got a light weight. It's not all about the weight. Okay. Two sets, 10 seconds rest between another one. If you've got a mirror, cheeky flex. Get ready. Count to 10, go again. You'll probably go straight away, but I always like to have a little bit of a rest to focus your mind on the sets so you're not just doing endless sets. The bodybuilding, it's not all about cardio. Although cardiovascular is important. Okay, we we'll go again for another 15. Focus on squeezing the muscle, engaging the muscle. Again, if you wanted to increase the tension or increase the work, just slow it down, hold the squeeze, slow, increase the tension, the time under tension. All these things you can do. And if you did that for 15 reps, you definitely would feel it. Okay. And 15, shake it off. It's important that you do don't bust your legs open doing this one and hold a squat stance for too long. <clears throat> okay, go again. Squeeze each one. Focus on the muscle. Making sure you're engaging the, tri the bicep properly. Squeeze each one. Go for another five. Squeeze. Maybe the last five, slow right down, squeeze each one, hold, slow right down, hold, slow right down. All these things you can do to increase the, the tension on the muscle. So we've done three sets of concentration curl. We're going to do three sets of cross face tricep extension, which you do on the floor. So normally you do this on a bench at the gym, but you might not have a bench at home, so we'll do it from the floor. So for this exercise, hold the dumbbell above you this, like this. The free hand goes onto the back of the elbow here. That's to steady you so that you don't go all the way off over here. Tricep there, but you can also feel the tricep moving then. Turn the, the dumbbell, important, Turn your face so you don't smack your face with the dumbbell. Come all the way down. Just touch your ear. Extend and you can get a really good extension at the top and really squeeze the tricep to engage it properly. You don't need a lot of weight for this. This is a definitely a lighter weight exercise to make sure you're engaging the tricep properly. I think that's about 10. Go again. Squeeze. Hopefully you can see my tricep working. Okay, do 15. Really important point here. Don't swap the dumbbell over above your head. Because if you do and you drop it, you're going to do yourself an injury. So swap the dumbbell over on your chest. Turn the head. Go again. Squeeze. So you get all the benefit of the kickback without the pressure on your shoulders. Let's go again. Squeeze every single time. And then once it engaged the tricep properly. Okay, when you finish, make sure it's on the chest not swapping over your face. Okay. Rest for about 10 seconds because you've got the, you've done one side, the other one's had a rest, so we can go straight back into it almost. Okay, turn the face, hands here. Just squeeze, go for another 15. 
Again, I'm doing these reps fairly fast. If I was doing them in a workout, the rep would be like this, and then squeezing upwards, dropping down, squeezing upwards. But that's pretty boring to watch on a workout, just as long as you get the, the technique. Squeeze each one. If you've got a heavier dumbbell, obviously you can go a little bit faster, get a bit more explosive strength on. Okay, swap over. It's important you control the technique fully on this one. If you go too fast, smack yourself in the face. Few more get to 15. We'll have a rest, about five seconds, because the other side's had a rest. So go back into it. Last 15. Make sure you're engaging the tricep each time. Okay, swap over, other side. Last 15 on this one. And this exercise should teach you how to really feel the tricep. So you can really slow it down and get the engagement. Okay. I think that's about 15. So once you finish with the sequential set, which is every exercise on, uh, on one after the other, what we then go into is doing supersets. So we've warmed up the muscles, we've engaged the muscles, we've squeezed the muscles, now we're going to go for supersets to get a little bit of extra fatigue. So the supersets are going to be standing dumbbell curl, then into the lying uh, French press or close grip bench press, whichever you want, want, want to do. And then we'll come straight up and then we'll do concentration curls and then we we'll go cross face tricep extension. So we we'll do the do the standing from the curls first, then the uh, close grip bench press, two sets of 15, and then go straight into the concentration curls and the cross face tricep extension. So 15 reps with the standing dumbbell curl. You ready? Let's go. Remember we're talking about squeezing the muscle, engaging the muscle. We don't want to be lifting the bicep up. We'll be lifting this way, so we're squeezing the bicep. Okay, from the other side. Get your 15, make sure you're coming up, squeezing the bicep on each one. Okay. Maybe that's 16, I don't know. Come onto the floor. Go straight into the, the tricep. Remember, keep the elbows in, so we're not hitting the chest or the shoulder. Rest for about 10 seconds. If you've got light dumbbells, you might not want to rest at all. So if you want to rest, give it a pause for 10 seconds or when you'll be ready. Let's go again. I'm going to curl up again. Go for 15. And hopefully should be getting fatigued back now. Keep going. 15. I don't think you can ever do more, as many more reps on biceps, can you? But that's 20. Hey, into choice that. Squeeze that. Keep the form strict all the way through. You might be tempted to swing a little bit. Try not to do that. There's about 15, I think. Up 
About a five seconds rest before we go into the next superset. If you've got a mirror, flex. Check yourself out, always good. Okay, we're going to do concentration curl, and then we're going to go into cross face tricep extensions. So we'll do both concentration curls first, then we'll go on the floor and do the, the cross face tricep extension. So 10 to 2 on the legs. I'm going to come down, squeeze. Remember to keep the tricep on the leg there. Squeeze the bicep. You get at least 15. If you can get 20, get 20. I'm going to try and get 20. Okay. Other side. Remember, you might be tempted to go as fast as possible. That might be reduce the range of movement and reduce the, the form. So always keep a very strict range of movement. Try and get 20. I think that's about 20, 15, whatever. Then we're going to go to tricep cross face. And they'll hold up with both hands before you start. Turn the head. Gonna go for 15 or 20. Remember you can increase the intensity yourself by slowing down if you wish. Keep the form strict. Swap over on the chest, come over the other side. Remember to squeeze the tricep on each one. Make sure you're engaging properly. Here you go, so you get 20 maybe. Okay, rest for a minute, or 10 seconds. Then we go straight into concentration curls again. 10 to 2 on the legs. And squeeze up each one. Remember, if you want to, you can slow and hold, slow and hold, and that will bring more intensity, make the muscles work a little bit harder. But for the purposes of the demonstration, I'm just going to do 10 to 15, well, 15 normal reps. Remember, it's your workout. If you want to slow things down, speed them up, add more weight, feel free to do that. It's your body you're improving. Don't ever tell, let people tell you you can't do something. Unless it's keto, then don't do it. So, you know, for 15 reps or so on this side. You keep going. Slow it down if you want to, squeeze if you want to, focus on the muscle, get the blood into the muscle. Okay, we've done enough, go for the lying. I'm not the most graceful of creatures getting on the floor. Okay, cross face again, squeeze up. Try and get 20. Swap over on the chest. Go again. Get 20 again, make sure you pay attention to the range. 
to the form, squeeze every rep. Making sure we're focusing on the tricep. Lost count, probably about 15. Stop there. Okay, so we've done two supersets, and then we're going to go back into a giant set. So now we're just going to go standing dumbbell curl, lying close grip bench press or bench press, concentration curl, both arms, and then the cross face tricep extension. So feeling like I've got some blood in the muscles. So even with relatively small weights that I normally use, I've got a decent amount of blood in the muscles. I feel like I've done a little bit of a workout. Okay, we're going to start again. Pause if you need to, if you don't need to. Let's go. So what we're going to do is get at least 20 on each one. Remember, this is the last set. So I want to make sure if you want to squeeze and hold and squeeze, we can do that. If you want to slow right down, we can do that. Remember, it's about improving your body and improving your arms. So anything you can do to make your arms better, if it's slowing, if it's holding, if it's squeezing, then do it. So I'm going to go until I get fatigued. Oh, yeah. That's the ticket. Right, into lying close grip bench. Okay, so either close grip bench that way or French press that way. I'm going to do the French press. So remember, let's go for failure or 20 reps. Keep it going, keep that tension on all the way through. Make sure you're targeting the muscle. Make sure you're working the tricep. <sighs> Slow it down if you need to, to get that extra little bit out. <sighs> Straight up into concentration curls. So one arm's going to get a bit more of a rest than the other. Can't do anything about that. So straight into concentration curls. Nice, controlled movement to focus in onto the bicep. Reps are really unimportant. It's making sure you get to failure. So you can do 20, 25 fast reps. 10 to 15 slow controlled reps. Getting to failure is the key here to make the muscle grow. Make sure you get into that failure point. Control the rep, don't let it swing. Making sure, making sure you're taking that muscle to failure. Oh. Other side, same principle. Control the reps, control the movement, making sure you're engaging the bicep. Remember, this is the last, last set. You want to make it count. There's a benefit you're getting a squat hold for your legs as well. A bit of multitasking. Keep that form strict. Keep focusing on the bicep. Uh, might take a while to get to failure on the second one. Doesn't matter. Just keep going. Oh. And then we're into cross face on the floor. Okay. Turn the face number. I'm going to do these nice and slow. I can really focus on the muscle, squeeze the muscle, 
keep that constant tension all the way through and I know that if I'm doing this the tricep is taking all the work and I'm not allowing any other muscles to come in just making sure that I'm engaging the target muscle now it's only a light weight so you've got good control here you can get a lot of redundant muscle fibers involved because it's a light weight might take a little bit more time to get the failure but the choice that will be worked afterwards oh. last set again we're gonna really slow things down making sure the target muscle is getting worked here making sure the tricep is getting worked squeeze it each one this time the arms should be full of blood it's a nice good pump happening I'm slowing this right down so that the, the tricep is getting all the work here, nothing else. Okay. Nice little workout. Arms do feel as though you've had a bit of a pump and uh, yeah, nice little workout. So I hope you enjoyed that and I uh, hope you got something out of it. Um, feel free to leave a comment and uh, thank you very much.